This is Chris Kell with your Model Fit Workout C Block 1. So for our first exercise, or for our, our core circuit in Block 1, we're going to start out with a straight leg sit-up, right? This is very similar to what we're performing in Workout A. Um, what we're going to do is hold a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or some sort of external resistance to help to kind of weight up this exercise, right? So what I'm going to do, abs are tight, sit straight up, press above my head. Now, if you don't have access to any weight or really anything that you can use, we can also do a body weight progression by simply crossing the arms and sitting straight up or placing the hands above the head, kind of in this uh, what we call prisoner position, and sitting straight up like that. Very hard to do. Now, from there, we are going to go into a plank crawl. So, with the plank crawl, we're going to come into a plank position, crawl forward, pause at the top, and come back. Once again, I'm looking for around uh, 30 seconds in this position. Okay, for, from here we're going to go immediately into a plank. Let's see, plank march. So, plank march. Just stepping up and down, pausing at the top, coming back down, pausing at the top, coming back down, just like that. 30 seconds in that position. We're going to finish up with a crawl to march for my last move here. All right, now, and again, for our strength training today, working on our body weight foundations, the third phase, um, our last month here of the dip and the chin up, hopefully by now, um, you've progressed pretty well in this, um, you know, assuming that you have, uh, we are going to uh, just go through the progressions one more time. So we start out, knees bent with a dip, Elbows are tucked in. Think about keeping the shoulder blades down and back. We can progress to straight legs. Okay, then we move to a partial dip from coming up and down. And then if you have access to a dip station, we move to a standing portion. Right? I'm just going to do the partial simply because I'm just going on two benches here. But I'm thinking about leaning forward. Coming down and back like that. From there, we can move to something like an L dip where my feet are in front of me, and I'm coming up and down. Easier on a uh, when we have uh, you know a full dip station, and you know that's uh, we're looking for anywhere from three to five reps. So you know if you can get that pretty easily, okay, then we move on. The difference uh, with this phase is with the dip, we're also going to superset that with an L sit. So we've been working on the L sit as well. I'm going to perform my three to five dips and then attempt to hold it in an L sit, whether it be hanging, being the first progression, L to the second progression, third progression would be a full L sit where my legs are in front of me. Just like that. So we've got three to five reps in our first position and then 30 seconds in our second position. Right now for our next two exercises, we have a chin up and a back lever. I'm sorry, a front lever. So for the chin up, once again, the progression would be beginning with negatives, meaning I'm jumping up, holding for five seconds and lowering. Okay, if I could do that, um, I'm going to pull partially from a partial hang here. So if I can do that, come in deeper until I can pull from a full dead hang. Okay, from there, uh, you know, I can start doing things like L pull ups, or I'm sorry, L chins, where my feet are in front of me. And then I can add external resistance by either wearing a uh, you know a weighted vest or holding a dumbbell between my feet, whatever it may be. The difference this month is that right after we perform our three to five reps, we're going to hold in this uh, back lever, I'm sorry, front lever, for a period of 30 seconds. And here's the thing with the front lever: palms are facing forward. I uh, want to keep my arms straight, okay? So I don't want to bend my elbows. I want to get all the tension on my lats. So I'm going to straighten out. First would be just a hang, second progression would be in this position, third would be extending my legs out, fourth would be a straddle, and then we could come in. The point being is that I'm holding for 30 seconds, I can break it up into five second holds if necessary, but just keep that tension going on. Alright, so that three to five uh, reps of each exercise, three rounds of the strength training, three rounds of the core circuit, that's your block one.